Hey TTC friends, so last week we spoke about how to use um, Trello to keep track of your courses. And this week I wanted to speak to you about the My Week board. The My Week board is probably one of the most popular boards, but for me it wasn't working out so great. The whole Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday thing wasn't working and so what i did was i tweaked it just like emily and abigail always recommend we do is just tweak and repeat the boards that they give you in the trello course is guidelines and sometimes you're going to use all of it and love all of it and sometimes you're going to find that you only use three or four or you need to adapt them sometimes you'll also find that even though you're only using four it's really handy to have the rest of them so I do see now that sometimes, even though I haven't been launching as much the last month or two, I know that's going to be handy to have that board once I go back to that. Okay, so what I did is I took away the Sunday to Saturday concept. So I have my weekly focus over here with my affirmations. I have the three big things that I want to focus on this week that I'll just slot in right there. Then I have any appointments or events that's coming up this week. And so in here, basically, because I mostly have this board open all the time, I just want a quick view of who I'm chatting to, where I need to go. So for me as a mom, what I like about this new approach is that I'm mixing my personal, my personal and my business in one place. And then I'm going to show you how I kind of have a quick calendar view if I did need that in a minute. I put my urgent things over here. These are things that I need to get to. And then these are things that come up during my week. Once they're done, I'll move them to done. So my three boards are urgent to do and done. And then there's ongoing things here. Like ongoing is like my legal should be over here. Website things that I'm currently changing and tweaking. Courses that I want to go through that is pertaining to things that I'm working on in my business, um, live trainings, blog posts I wanna work on, changes that I wanna make to my own courses. And so these live over here. And then what I'll often do is I will move them over here. So yesterday I was working on legal a little bit. Today I'm not, so I'm gonna move this over here because there's other things that I want to focus on. And then I'm just breaking down my goals over here. I still have my big picture strategy board, but I just like having those right over here so that I do know when something pops in my head that I can quickly go in and put it in these and then later make a plan for where they will live, how I'll take care of them. And then there's quarter goals that I just um, start slotting in here so that whenever something pops in my head that I really want to achieve, achieve and do this month, I can put that over here. So this feels a bit more manageable for me. I'd really love for us to brainstorm and I'd love for you guys to share what you're doing, what's working for you. Let's talk specifically about your My Week uh, board how you approach that, how you lay that out for yourself. There's one other thing that I want to share with you that I just installed yesterday that I think I like. I'm not quite sure. I'm not a pro at this at all. So if you have any insights, definitely go ahead and share that with us. Trello has over here on the right hand side, you can go and you can have power ups. So I noticed and I've been starting to look at them. I noticed this Gantt chart one. Um, I didn't enable it here. What I did is I clicked on it for more information is I just clicked on this information, I for information, and I clicked on learn more. I just followed the steps to install it and started looking at it. And I thought that it might be interesting to just have a bit of a calendar view without going to the calendar over here. So, um, let me just enable my calendar. You can see your calendar view over here if you enable that. But I was curious to see what this elegant um, and Gantt chart was about. Basically what they say you use elegant in Trello for is to keep track of tasks and projects and also to see 
what your team is working on. If you do have a team, I'm thinking that this is going to be a whole lot more effective for you. My team is still very small, but this is what I liked so far about installing Elegant. It was really easy to install. You just follow these one, two, three steps. And what I can do is see on the top here, it says Elegant Trial. I click on that and then it expands. And then there's basically two views. You can have a planned view. So this is basically all the projects and the things that I have planned for my week. And over here, just like I maximize and minimize that, I can also choose at the bottom if I want this board, this particular board, to be featured on this calendar view. Um, you can change the calendar view in the top right corner over here. I like this view. Just I just want to see what I have for that week. Um, so it will highlight this is the weekend and this is the current day that we're on right now. So if you have cards, you, what you can say is that, say for instance, I'm creating my Trello tip and then my Facebook Live is going to be dependent on me getting that task done. So you can say this is dependent on in my to-do getting my Trello tip done ad. And then here you can also choose to have this be visible or not visible on your calendar. So that's really interesting. Um, this is definitely helpful for that teamwork. And then also what you can do is you can have, this is the planned view and this is an eff the effective view. So the difference between the two is that the effective view will tell you exactly how many cards you have open, how many are late, so it'll show in red, and how many are early that maybe you've started working on. And so for instance, this guy, let's say this guy was overdue and a little late. It will have red on this side, and I'm just gonna refresh the page. It will show red in the front. So this is what I'm thinking why it's really helpful for teams because you can see which project at a glance is a little overdue, um, is currently being worked on. See this block over here? I think it's because I just set up that dependency. And I'm saying I think because I just installed this yesterday. But so far, I'm really loving having this view over here. If this feels overwhelming, green means in progress, by the way. I can just switch to the planned view and I can move things around. So say for instance, this guy, um, I'm not gonna be working on that for four days. So I'm just going to change this back to the fourth or I can drag this guy and be, this is gonna be on this day. You can also label it. So maybe for this guy, what I wanna do is I want to say that this is personal. So I'm just gonna remove this dependency. And then your labels will also appear on here on this side. I feel like I'm just playing and learning a lot of new things with this Gantt chart. So um, I would love to hear your thoughts in terms of how you are working with your My Week board. Um, the, not one of the reasons I also changed this is because I made one for my hubby because my hubby is also a lot more um, working in my business a lot more so I like that I could just keep our boards very consistent and so now whenever he or I create something I can just create it in here and I can move it to his board and he will get a notification about that. So tell me your thoughts in the comment. Let's talk about how you are approaching your weekly boards. Let me know if anybody has been trailing. Let, let us know your okay. tips. Let us know what you think. Let me know if you plan to install this and play with this for a bit. And then maybe next week we can talk a bit more about advanced ways to approach our My Week board so that instead of reaching for our paper planners, we are using this more effectively. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you again next week. Bye.